All lives matter, don't they? This is a question I'm asking myself at this point, so I decided to make a video for everybody to get a perspective from both sides, the pros and cons of both. Now we're gonna do All Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter and uh, see what the, the, all the controversy is about and why everybody's up in the uproar about it. Now I'm gonna look at both sides and I'm gonna do it unbiasedly. I am black myself, but that is not in void. So we're going to look into these things and we're gonna start with a couple of points on both sides just to see where we can get a perspective of where people's thinking is going today. So uh, let's start off with uh, point A. You have to know official definition of something to understand it as point A. Black Lives Matter is a decentralized movement advocating for nonviolent civil disobedience and protests against incidents of police brutality and all racially motivated violence against African-American people. Now back to my point A. We're gonna look at some numbers here and um, this chart is from Washington Post, so you guys understand. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, if you are black, you have a 58% more chance of being killed by police. And if you're Hispanic, you have a 43% chance of being killed by police more than you are if you are a white male. Now, these numbers are alarming and it creates a lot of animosity inside of a race that feel like their voices are not being heard, which leads me to my point B. When there is no solution, then that becomes a problem and people take it into their own hands. Henceforth, the riots that we're having on our hands by protesters. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's got to be a better way. It's got to be a more peaceful solution to something like that. But uh, when you don't get something solved and there's a problem over a long period of time, it creates a lot of tension. And uh, when you do it with a whole race of people, you get exactly what you put into it, both the lash out um, to the authorities with. Now, when you get that type of violence, it gets the attention of celebrities, NBA players, NFL players, and anybody else who thinks they have a voice on the issue. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a clip from uh, Shannon Sharp explaining essentially why we kneel doing an anthem or uh, showing signs of disrespect to the flag, as they would say. It would tear down the very foundation, the very fabric in which Amer they said America was built on. America was not built on freedom. America was built on racism. And the backbone, the lifeline, the mm -hmm. economy of America was built on the backs of slaves. That is fact. Yep. And racism is so ingrained in America because, Skip, from the very first time when you brought those slaves over in 1619, you had someone to look down on. You robbed him of his given name. You robbed him of his dignity. You robbed him of his humanity. Mm -hmm. You told him he was less than. You treated him as less than. And then somehow you say, what? Mm -hmm. That America is what? America is how? He never, he never received that. You got 250 years of free labor. Yep. 250. Because, Skip, let me tell you how this works, Skip. Mm -hmm. When you hire someone to do something, either you can't do the job or you don't want to do the job. So which is it? So as America was thriving, mm -hmm. who was doing the work? The workers, it wasn't you. Mm -hmm. Not only were they working in the field, they were taking care of your kids before they could take care of their own. Mm -hmm. So this, this notion that America, well, uh -huh. white people, they, we did all this. No, you didn't. So when you talk openly and honestly mm -hmm. about how what they did yep. to the American black, and then he's like, oh, get over that. That was so long ago. That's ingrained. Mm. Years and years get where you don't have any income. So great grandfathers had, had sons and sons and sons that had nothing. They had no wealth. While they were passing it down from generation to generation, he was a slave owner. His son was a slave owner. His son became a slave owner. Mm -hmm. His son became a slave owner. You see how that wealth kept going down the line? Mm -hmm. Now, Shannon made some very valid points in his argument to support my point of B and, the, and why black people feel the anger and, and the riots. Uh, now, as far as having things passed down through generation, that didn't happen when you were black. You didn't pass down anything. You weren't even allowed to read. So I will just let you guys see that video so you can see how it is and some of the points that are being made. It is imperative that anyone watching this video understands the history and the demeaning situation which blacks were put in 
back in the day during slavery and after and all the civil rights movement and uh, everything we had to do to fight for something. You have to understand that history before you can begin to judge something. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. This is another black guy who's angry, making a video advocating for himself and his race. Not true. I'm simply trying to give you guys the facts from both sides as it pertains to Black Lives Matter itself. All right, everybody, it's time to head to All Lives Matter for a different perspective. But before you do that, I'm going to need you to smash that like button and subscribe to JVO TV. It would help me out a lot. Also, hit that notification at the top for new content. Sorry about being away for a, a while, you guys, but you know, life happens and you got to figure out a style. So anyway, uh, stick around to the end of the video. You guys get my conclusions of what I think about it. But for now, we're just going to stay on topic. All Lives Matter doesn't technically have a definition we can use, but we can say that it is a slogan that is associated with the criticism of Black Lives Matter. Now, we're going to get straight into some facts instead of the points like the beginning of the video. And we're going to look at the first point that I know everybody is asking and everybody's thinking. Why do black people kill each other at a high rate if they care about Black Lives Matter? And this is a point that needs to be made. We're going to take a look at some numbers to back up these facts that I got to tell you guys. So let's uh, take a look at this chart over here. It's explaining the murder homicide rate as of 2016, according to the FBI, by race, black, white and uh, other races. Now, if you look here, you can see out of all the homicides in 2016, the white population had 3,499 total homicides, while the black African-American population had 2,870 homicides. Now, if you compare that to this chart here, they're saying out of that, 533 African-Americans were killed by whites. But if you look at black on black, 2,570 of those blacks were killed by other blacks. That's a very high percentage, which leads me to these numbers. Now we're gonna pull up a percentage calculator for you guys to compare the two. Now we compare the first uh, with white on white murders. We have 81% uh, white on white murder rate. And if we uh, switch it over here to black on black crimes, we have an 89% black on black crime murder rate now if you guys want to argue eight percentage points you can argue eight percentage points but the stereotype is is that blacks kill each other way more than uh whites kill each other which is uh actually true just so you know i started with 2016 fbi homicide facts because it pretty much stays consistent over the next two years we don't have 2019 or 2020 FBI homicide facts because they obviously aren't released, but once we do have them, we will update it. I'm not sure if those numbers will be consistent because of the pandemic, but we will see coming in September when the FBI updates this chart. And honestly, I'm kind of shocked that these numbers are so consistent being with what the world is going through today. Let's slide over here to the United States population as it versus black and white and uh remember i'm only going to give you guys the facts so let's see some points here now if you guys want to look at the number as of 2019 population in the united states was 328,239,523 people out of that 76 percent of those people are caucasian and if you look at the population there, blacks make up 13% of that. So that's a huge population disparity there. Now, if you look at those numbers, you can see that it's disproportionate as black on black kill each other and whites kill each other. Now, it's only eight percentage points, but if you account for the population disparity, it is a huge imbalance in the United States of America. Second, for our listeners to understand that uh, being an African-American uh, descendant is very shameful to be in a position to see uh, the murder rate so high for black on black crime. And if you compare that uh, population disparity, as I just mentioned, 
you could see that our murder rate would be much higher if the black population was as high as the Caucasian population in the United States. It's an imperative point that is made by All Lives Matter that makes sense and definitely is going to go on the radar for me and should go on the radar for many other blacks. Oh All right, guys, thanks for reaching the end of the video with me. I know I promised to tell you my conclusion and my thoughts on uh, this All Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter video. So I'm going to give it to you guys in uh, all honesty. I am going to say that I do agree with Black Lives Matter, but there are a couple of factors and points that I don't agree with, like uh, defunding the police which makes no absolute sense at all because we all need the police in some way and capacity. Yes, it could be better training. Yes, I do believe the officers are human beings. And yes, I do believe that you run into bad leadership with officers as well. But you know what? At some point, just like you said, things have to come to a head. And right now, they're just at a head. That's, that's what it is with Black Lives Matter. We are only going to spit facts on this channel. And the fact is that the black on black crime rate is way too high and it has to come to a stop for people to take the african-american race seriously because if you can't stop within then you can't beat the outer walls down that's just something i believe in for myself now as far as the all lives matter and the hate and the the evilness that come out of people just for the color of your skin it's ridiculous i understand that you want to defend and say that all lives matter all lives do matter it's just a time and a place that you need to say those type of things let me put it to the listeners this way you treat everyone no matter what they are how you want to be treated and i guarantee you the world will be a better place this is as simple as i can keep it it's not rocket science it's been a simple solution to most problems in history it just has to have leaders to come out and um actually acknowledge what's going on in the world today and not point blame or shift blame to any race or any anybody in individual that's what needs to happen for this versus battle to cease to exist all right, everybody, this is the end of the video. Go ahead and leave your opinion down in the comments below. I know I left mine. And uh, make sure you leave a like for JVO TV. We got more content coming to you.